Hi guys, welcome to Mike's Bar Corner. I'm Mike and this is my Retro Corner. Today's episode is PC Engine once more and it's regarding the white PC Engine once again. We have some parts that have finally turned up. So we have some spare fuses. We actually have 10 of these. Um, I've got my solder iron all warmed up. I've got a CD game ready to test a CD-ROM drive with. And I also have some burned games, which I've done as well. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get some, uh, get some things repaired today and uh, make things as they should be. Um, now, if you saw the first video we did in this series, we were looking at this PC engine and uh, the fact that when we opened it all up, the internal fuse had been replaced. Well, not replaced, but it was still in there. But uh, there was a piece of wire just soldered across the bottom contacts. We're going to fix that today. I just, I like to see things as they should be. There's also a kind of ground plane um, that was also kind of just taken off. It wasn't even unsoldered. So we want to put that back on as it should be. Now, there was some previous work done on the power input. I don't really see the need to repair that because in all honesty, they've yes, they've put a bit much solder on it, but it's it's keeping it it's solid. So we shouldn't have to do any any more repairs on that side. Let's uh, let's give you some closer up because uh, I've got a different camera for you today. So we're going to go to this screen which uh, allows me to give you a close-up of the PC engine. And uh, you can see how well it cleaned up. And it's, it's cleaned up great. So that was, it was quite yellow before. It was, it was very dirty and yeah, it wasn't, wasn't the best. But uh, it's, it's cleaned up better than I could uh, have expected in all honesty. We will switch over to the workbench cam because we're going to have to open this up again. So, and I've got my screwdriver at the ready today. So what we're going to do, we're open it all up, take it all apart once more. I don't think we have to take it, well we might have to take it completely apart again just so we've got everything out of the way. Now, let's lift this off and we can show you the amazing work that was done with the previous owner. So here is the fuse that's been soldered on there. And you can see the power jack repair. It's, it's pretty damn ugly, but it's functional. And it looks like there's also been a trace repair here, which is very ugly. But uh, I, in all honesty, that could be that could be definitely tidied up. But today, we are looking at this particular green wire, which has uh, not, not not looking the best. We get that uh, we get that done. So if I switch over to the workbench cam. So the fuse is in here, but that is covered up by a heat sink. And have we, have they, yeah, that screw is not looking too good. So I'm wondering if we're going to be able to get that off. And it's actually been, it's been soldered. That screw's been soldered in at the bottom. So I don't think we're going to be able to remove this heat sink, but we have to get that out. 
So let's start by unsoldering this from the board. Now, I've got my handy solder sucker here. Well, what I'm going to do, just to loosen up the solder bits, so I'm going to just put a little bit of flux on there. So let's just have a look at this. I'm just going to, just a little bit of flux. There we go. So this is nice and warm. Let's get the power switch out of the way. Just going to clean up the tip before I start. Right, and we're going to put a little bit of solder on the end, just so it has, the other solder has something to bite to. Let's get rid of this uh, we've got on here. Would it help if I did that first? Okay, do the other side. Okay, let's see what we've got. So that piece of wire has literally disintegrated. I don't don't ask me how it was coming on. Let me just show you this again. So just disintegrated. So that's that was just hanging on there. But uh, that's not a problem because we are replacing that completely. I can feel it starting to move. Let's take it out slowly. Oops. Probably isn't the best solar tip. And there we go, it's out. So, let's have a little look at this fuse and see if it has actually blown. Have a look here. You can definitely see that, that fuse has gone. What we're going to do is try and make these look like the original fuses. Copy the leg layout as much as possible. So we have we have a little zigzag in the leg. So around about here, the leg kind of goes in so we will imitate that as much as possible and then it curves around and goes back out again so oops. okay i think i'm doing it badly not very well <laughs> here we go and then we want to straighten it back out again It's not the prettiest uh, copy of the leg, that's for sure. But let's... There we go. Let's see. Let's see how that me measures up to the original. So, yeah, it'll do. <laughs> it's, it's um, it'll do. It's okay. Right, so there we go. So there's my, my new fuse legs. It's not gonna focus because this camera's great. There's my new fuse legs and there's the original fuse legs. So uh, it kind of looks like them. Um, so we will go ahead and, ah, what's going on? Why is that moving like that? So, okay, I'm gonna solder them. Uh, they're already connected, so I don't have to mess about and uh, worry that they're going to move or I can't hold them still long enough. And a nice big blob of solder to the end, but we don't want to warm it up too much. So we're going to have to do this quickly, really, so it doesn't um, tarnish the metal again.
right. So let's have a look what we've got. That's that's turned out great. That's really good. I'm I'm very happy with how that's turned out. That's almost like come on, focus for me. It's not going to focus. There we go. Almost like the original one. Okay, well that's slightly better. Well, it's actually looking at that, that's a that's hundred times better than it was. So we will go ahead now and we will put the fuse in from the back area because we can't remove the heat sink, but we will go ahead and guide it through. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that roller capacitor there, doesn't want it to go. Okay. Hey, that, ah, oh, that's great. Look at that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a view of what I can see. Okay. So, look at that. It looks like the original fuse. It, um, it's gone in there great. I don't know why it's gone all stuttery, but that looks, that looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and get that mounted. Okay, that's done. Let's see how that's gone in. That's, uh, that's looking pretty good. So what we'll do now is snip off the overhangs. So the extra leg parts, we'll get rid of these. Okay, and then we will just clean off the access flux off the bottom. Brilliant, no more skanky green wire. Right, now, so what we have to do now is these bits here need to be kind of scraped back so we can apply solder to them so the heat, so, well, so the protective shield underneath is usable again while well, we can solder it to it. So what we're going to do is use this just to, not a lot, just a little bit of the green layer to take off so it can, the solder can bite to it. Almost there. There we go. So, We've got some nice um, bits here now. So I've scraped back some areas of the green. So we've got a little bit of, of copper showing. So we are going to go ahead and get some solder on those bits. And that's on. So that's the ground kind of sheet 
back on it again. Let's give you a, a better view. So this is the one that was completely broken and it's, it's, it's functional, it's not the prettiest thing, but it's, it's going to do what it needs to do. And the other side is pretty much as it should be, soldered back in again. Now let's get this all put back together again. So we've replaced the fuse, we've repaired the ground sheet, and uh, all that's left now is to uh, put it back together. Okay, so we will go over to my game screen. Welcome, welcome to the game screen. And we will see if this unit still works after changing the fuse. So hopefully we still have power. Yes, perfect. Right, now what we can do is we got, uh, I got far east of Eden, which is all oh, this game. So we're going to use this particular PC engine to see, because that's the one we've been working on today. So we're going to take the music CD out we used last week and we're going to install the far east of Eden. We will try, let's have a look. That's version two. Ah. <sighs> So, what's this saying? What's this saying? <laughs> I can't read Japanese. <laughs> what's this saying? Okay, what's this? I'm going to have to use translate. So, let's um, translate. It definitely, it's loading it, but what's it saying? So, it says, this ROM, Super CD-ROM, it's really having a hard time trying to translate it. CD-ROM East, I don't... Uh, for, it, it's, if I, if I showed you what this is trying to show you here. What, what's that trying to say? <laughs> but we've got something, we're getting somewhere. So, let's try Try complete restart. Let's try version one of the BIOS. So that's version one. Push all the buttons. Yes. So here we go again. But it read it. It could just be that I brought. Hmm. Do you know what that kind of that kind of says that maybe the CD card. BIOS I'm using is wrong, but then why didn't it work on version 3 of the BIOS? System, so what's this one here? This is 
2.1. Will this one work? Right, here we go again. No, it wants, it wants version three, I think, but I don't think it's gonna load from it. So what we will do, we will try to run a pirate game. Oh, well I burned earlier, we've got minutes to do this. So let's, let's try this. Load it up. Let's go straight to um, version three and see if we get anything. Okay, it's reading the seer, the disc. Come on, do something more than just a blue screen. Oh, it looks like it's gonna work, but then it's not. a shame okay well that's a, that's a pirate game so you know the reason that doesn't work is could be the reason that it doesn't like the cd last one we're going to try tonight all right here we go let's see if we get anywhere with this one because i was quite impressed that it did try to load the uh, the burnt cd anyway Oh, do we have a game? Do we have a, we have a game. We have a game. We have a game. <laughs> We've got a game. <laughs> Look at this. What is this? Oh, is that as far as it's going to go? Oh, no, 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 no. It's doing something. It's just loading slowly. Look, look, it's golden axe. Wow, it's it's really taking its time to load though. Amazing. Look at this. I'm playing this on a burnt CD in a PC Engine CD-ROM drive, which has never played a game for me before. But it's playing it, which is it's brilliant. That's and sadly that's the end of our stream for today but we will do some gaming why don't we do some gaming videos next time look at the graphics wow well that's amazing going ahead and how is this a cd game look at this i, I take it the music soundtrack must be amazing there's i've two buttons and it's it's terrible but amazing at the same time <laughs> How do I even use potions? Is, is there? A, is it the select button? It's the select button. Look at that. And with that bombshell, thanks for dropping in. Thanks for watching me go on about PC engines and getting them working. But what a great turnout. We've had two units working and a CD-ROM drive that also works. So why did they bin them? We we'll never know. But again, thanks for coming and I'll catch you next time.